Previously on Sailing Zatara. We arrived in the beautiful country of France and shared with you our amazing adventures in the water and at anchor. And Keith gave you a frank discussion on crew safety and protection. <laughs> I tell you a story about me and you Out on the water surrounded by the blue They scream that only I'll be saved The toss of the line that I just let float away Yeah, I'll let it float away Through France, we saw the World War II, the World War One memorials in France. We saw France. a lot of things. Oh, that, yeah, that was a long time ago. Yeah. We went to Paris. We've seen France. We have. That's true. After waiting for a good weather window to leave France, we set off for Menorca, Spain. But confused seas and 20 knots of wind kept us rolling quite a bit and some of us were pretty nauseous. Try not to fall. Oh. 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 That's probably not good. Okay, yeah. Do that. Do that. So, we're sailing from some French island to French mainland, and everybody's sick. We're all sick. It's bad. It's bad. My hair is going crazy. I don't know. But we're all pretty sick. It's bad. These are coming up to these shallows here. There's a shallow bank here. See the contrary lines on the map? Once we get out here in the deeper water again, what's happening is all this is building up on this shallow thing. It's causing all these bigger swells on top. We've got two meter seas out here that are confused, and we can still set a cup right there. And he's confused because he Even though some of us were a little queasy, it was still no comparison to the healing and the rolling motion of the monohull. We lost what little wind we had, and so now we gotta put the spinnaker out. Hey, don't come out here. Unfortunately, as per our luck with these old lines, the spinnaker halyard snapped, and the entire spinnaker fell into the water. Oh, man. This happened in the monohull once. Yeah. Jeez. Were y'all taking it down? 
we were just we just looked up and it was in the water. I was just playing on your phone and I looked over and I said there's a bird that flew in the water. I'm like, whoa, whoa, hold on. Who was on watch? The boys untangled it and bagged it back up. And Keith added one more line to the list of the many lines that need replacing. to the death of my face. Sounds the tar, guys. Okay, like and subscribe. No, 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 See you later. No, you one, one. Give me some happy smiles. Hey, some hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. And no have moves like that. Yeah. Hey. Hey. We're so excited. I know. Yeah. What is it? What do you do that for? Got the cool Most of our sailing in the Mediterranean has been these short two to three day passages with the weather and wind constantly changing due to land effect. But it's been a fantastic experience to add to our logbooks. Here, you come back here and you let off on the main sheet as I suck off the jib. He's gonna suck, suck off the jib? Wait, what? He's gonna suck off the jib? That's just not kid friendly. <laughs> I know, I know. did the other day he like turned on our motors unnecessarily just to get ahead of a boat that was in front right. of it he did that got a little ego going he on. did he like pulled out all the reefs and turned on the motors and i was like what are you doing he's like i can't be behind are you competitive grandpa how's it going grandpa i'm not a grandpa yeah you are grandpa don't even call me a grandpa <laughs> not even there you got nine months what do you want hey a lot can happen in nine months what do you want her to call you? Path, path Grand Path? Don't path, say path. like Papa Lloyd. Mr. Grand Whitaker. Miss <laughs> Mr. Whitaker. That's a winner right there, y'all. Big Daddy. What are we doing? All right, so I'm going to raise you up there, Jack. You got that weight on the end yeah, of that fishing yeah, line. Yeah. And you're going to go up there, uh, just right above the uh, the uh, Genoa. Yeah. There's a block there, a swivel block. And you can go underneath, up through the swivel block, and then up into the mast and down. And then I'm going to have to lower you to this outlet right here, this feeder outlet here. Sounds like a good and idea. And you'll have to fish inside of that to try and get that out of there. See. There's not steps that go that far. See, so stuff. All right. Because you're doing what? Because we're changing out the halyard. Well, we're putting a new halyard in because the other one broke. Okay. You're going to have to lift it up a little. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Okay. Let's do that over here. Okay, so if you were to look at it, like, so if you're looking at it, I'm gonna go through. So we we'll go down, and we go through, and we we'll go up. Yeah, I got it. Is that it? Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. 
Which halyard do you want me to inspect again? Oh. Yeah, it's just a hair. You know, oh, I do not like going down. That is the last thing I like to do. Okay, okay. Yeah, everything looks pretty good. No, oh, it looks pretty good. Check this out. Make sure everything looks good. Oh, it looks pretty. Hey, okay. Aye, aye. Oh, I don't want to die. I really don't want to die. That would not be very good. Hey, fat boy. Right, come in right here, Jake. All right, so we're checking our weather from uh, Majorca to uh, Palma. Menorca. Menorca to Majorca. And so we just downloaded our predict wind stuff. It's going to be an overnight sail. And the summary shows that it should take us about you know, all the different models. You know, it's 118 miles, 116 miles. Should take us about 24 hours, 18 hours to 24 hours and downwind all the time a little upwind when we go out of here eight knots uh most of the time we'll be in eight to twenty knots of wind which is perfect for this boat uh less than one meter waves 100 percent of the time which is good we should be going downwind and down wave too and then i just go over here and i check out i'm checking out the weather and i like the, this arrow better and so as i scroll through here if i just hit the play button looking at the winds seeing how they're changing and they're just kind of diminishing off by the time we pull into palma and uh that's our route so it looks like it'll be pretty good we just gotta get there before all this headwind stuff builds and uh that'll be that excellent Some dark clouds on the horizon. Keith said it doesn't show up on radar, so maybe it's just so light that it'll blow on out of here. Almost wrong fin, it don't feel good. Feel pukey. How about you? I like it. We're rolling, we're rocking and rolling. We don't know what's around the corner, it's anxiety at its best. I don't know if we're going to roll into these storms or if they're going to pass us by. But we'll be where we're going at 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. I like it. You like this weather? It's the first rainy weather we've had in ages. Uh huh. It's like fall. Yeah. It is fall. Wow. Oh. Yeah, we got all this deep shelter. Tell me about the shelter, Keith. The shelter. Well, this catamaran's got these, what do you call these? Uh. uh Bimini, uh, Dodgers. Dodgers all walls. the way around and. and uh, plexiglass protection. It's not plexiglass. Yeah, no. no that's but it just, it just keeps the rain, everything's dry, you can sit anywhere and you're not wet. Our old boat, we were wet all the time. It's this fancy new invention called plastic. Plastic, yeah. We love 
Yeah. We love plastic. Yes, we do. Okay. Had a little bit of lightning earlier, but maybe yeah. we're maybe it's fading. People want longer videos, so y'all just need to talk, tell stories. Uh, tell a story, Anna. What is the story? I can read you the three pages that I just read in biology about cellular respiration. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Yeah, I only understood about half of it. <laughs> I got rectal itching. Wait, no. Hey, hey, hey. Well, it starts with a small burning flame. I could be selling right now, but I'm motoring because we have a pro furl furler up on the deck to, to, to furl the Genoa in. And if lightning hits and knocks out all my electricity, I won't be able to furl in the Genoa. Oh. So I'd not only lose this, uh, anyway, the cell could get hammered, and I might lose the cell and. and and the, and the electric, electric, so I just, for right now, I'm, I'm going to get through the front edge of this storm and get through any uh, convective weather, and then, then I'll put the jib out again, but motoring for an hour won't hurt nothing and kind of get us past the iffy point of this uh, convective weather we're seeing. Convective. Right, give me a crazy face for a thumbnail shot. Where's the cable? No, that's not a thumbnail. That's boring. Go. Ah! It's stormy! Ah! <laughs> you're taking a dump. There you go. Isn't this the first storm we've had in this boat? It is. We never really had a storm on the old boat. Where's no, the... no, 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 no. We did. That one time. I remember putting Australia. stuff in the... Yeah, that microwave. one time in Australia. That one time at Bay Camp? We came through the storm, and we didn't get hit by lightning, which was good. And we've just got flat, following seas, probably half a meter seas following behind us. We got about 12 knots of true wind, right at about 175 off the starboard. And we got the asymmetrical out, and then we're just rolling. So we got about 80 miles left to go. It's uh. 1600 should arrive at about seven o'clock in the morning in Palma. So hopefully we beat all the winds and the weather. It's gonna storm again, I think, Jack. I know, right? Let's go see what Anna's doing. Let's go see what ah! Say hi to the world. So is this what you do while we're on passage? Yes, this is the most exciting. Just lay in your bed and do a whole lot of nothing. Yeah. Did you do school today? Yes. There was hesitation there. <laughs> is oh. it still lying if it's lying by omission? <laughs> Let's go see what the captain is doing. What are you doing, captain? We're just watching these storms. Ah, wicked. Ooh, Ooh did yeah, I did see that. Holy cow. It's cold. Hello, Isla. You got on to me for not shouting out at you. There you go. And Mimi. Oh. It's sprinkling just a little bit. Yeah. Come on, I get all the sails up. Ooh, did you see that one over there? And we're just in the behind the squall line here. I just came on night shift. It is nine o'clock and Keith went to bed and uh, we have just a little bit of wind, not much. We've got um, seven knots of wind. We're going four and a half knots, but we got the engine on and the jib out just a little bit. So, a uh, little bit of lightning behind us. I don't know if you can see it off there. Probably not, but uh, it's it's behind us. It passed us all. We got a little rain this afternoon, but nothing nothing bad or scary. No heavy wind or anything really. Uh, so I'm just gonna sit here for the next three hours and uh, watch for boats and storms and listen to music. See ya. Well, it's morning time. 
my shift is about 8 o'clock. I've been on shift since 6, rolling into Palma in the Balearics. It's cold. It was thundery, stormy yesterday and last night. I got some more rain coming in this afternoon. I don't have a hot water heater on here, so I have to take cold showers. It's cold. It was an easy passage, not very hard. Motored the last 12 hours because the wind was not very much. It'll be interesting to see what this place is about. Hopefully, I can get all my lines sorted here. I can get a hot water heater and get all that kind of done. The boat's nice and clean with all the rain we're getting, so all the salt is off of the boat. Good passage overnight. Ann and Jack have done a great job. Well, that's it for another little 120 mile passage. I'll see you guys on the next passage. There's a bunch of kid boats here, so it's been a great few days just letting the kids play together and and dirty up the house. And uh, we met some, some new people, made some friends, met some fans. It's been great. right there and um, a new boat we met right out here Gaia or maybe I don't remember where they were at and then uh, what else we got we got uh, Kamori right here and no worries I think she that's no worries and I was looking for two little girls and I happened to come across this amazing fort and I think there might be somebody down in here. Hello? Hi. <laughs> what are you girls doing? Watching Barbie and the Mermaid Tale 2. Okay, awesome. And eating hot dogs. Uh oh, somebody's knocking on our boat. Coming, coming, he's knocking. Who's knocking? Oh, you guys. We stole Jake's pants. <laughs> he stole his what? His pants. Out of the window. That's not good. Hello. I was just going out to see what y'all were doing. We're playing Madden U, now we get out. Yeah, we all ready to go now. Yeah. Okay. What have you been doing in here, boy? Magic cards. I've been playing with the magic cards. Cool. Yes. Hey, there is the she wolf. The she demon. The princess? Wait, give me the option. Where are you going? Are you going to go to the bathroom? Can I film it? No. I was going to open my window, but then someone drove by in a dinghy really close. I was like, oh, I'm not going to open the window. <laughs> okay. What are you going to do? I'm going to charge my phone. Okay. And what else? Tell us. I've got a lot of plans. i got a lot of events lined up. Ooh. I've got karaoke at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got drinks with, you know, all the famous, where are we? Spain? All the Spanish <laughs> celebrities. Uh -huh. I've got lots of plans. I'm very wanted and needed out here. I A lot know. of people uh, request. Your social calendar. What? Wow. What are you talking about? Well, if their parents don't say it's okay. What are you what talking are you about? Whispering? Sounds like a kid thing. What are you talking about? Um, wait, your parents oh, I don't know. Okay? What are you whispering about? I don't know. What I don't know. Really what are you talking about? about? Ah! What are you talking about? That's my nipple. Hey, don't say nipple. All right. Join us next time as we finish up our time in Palma and set sail for Gibraltar. <laughs>